Why do I always come after Bryce Hall in every situation when Addison is literally a part of the problem, y'all? To be honest, I wouldn't lie to you guys and defend Addison specifically in this situation because even her fans know that she really messed up big time. But as some of y'all probably know, Addison has been upsetting the internet for the last couple of years. Sorry. <laughs> Since in my last video, your girl explained how Addison ditched Bryce and decided to hang out with the singer Jack Harlow, who somehow turned out to be her current boyfriend. I know, right? Miss Girl moved on way too fast. Although we did see Bryce throwing a lot of shade towards Addison on Twitter, where he basically exposed her for being in love with him while sneaking around with Jack Harlow. And um, ever since he made those shady tweets, you guys, Bryce? hasn't slowed down. He also tweeted this. I feel like such an idiot. Shitty days always get worse. Yeah, he was having a really rough day, you guys. But besides this, you're probably asking why Addison hasn't spoken up about the situation and the rumors going around about her. Well, did you really expect Addison to ignore the situation when her name was trending everywhere on social media? Because she went immediately to Twitter to clear up the situation when she saw the rumors about her boy friend Jack. And y'all, this was her response. I'm single. Of course, when people saw how Addison tried to clear up the situation by saying that she's single, they all started hating on her and how she ignored the part where she confessed her feelings for Bryce while hanging out with another guy until the entire truth was posted on the internet the next day after the Sway House's first episode of their reality show got released all of a sudden. And as y'all can imagine, Bryce shared many private conversations he had with his friends a while ago and how Addison doesn't really trust him. She didn't trust me. Like, at all. And you guys saw it firsthand. There's like an insecurity there with that she will only grow to figure out, you know? Bryce didn't hesitate to call Addison insecure in his reality show for being hella jealous of a girl. And y'all, let me just say something, things got even more awkward later on when Bryce revealed how he didn't actually cheat on Addison and how she made him feel horrible when she called him an ex-boyfriend on social media the next day. We're not doing the best. Yeah, no, the... The press stuff really doesn't help with anything. I didn't cheat. After this, you guys, the situation started getting more intense when Bryce hinted how Addison is the type of person who drags everything on social media and how he asked her to handle the situation privately after she unfollowed him on Instagram. I literally text her and I'm like, hey, can we just keep everything off of social media? Yeah, we're, we're officially broken up. She unfollowed me. Yeah. It's really confusing whether you should trust Bryce or Addison, but based on this reality show, you guys, Bryce is somehow making it seem that Addison was responsible for all the mess going around. Now, unfortunately, Addison didn't take a moment out of her day to speak up about the situation, yet Brianna from the BFFs podcast, on the other hand, had decided to defend Addison by accusing Bryce of cheating on her, and here's what Brianna had to say. Bryce Hall goes ballistic, like he goes to Twitter and he's like, how disrespectful, I'm so embarrassed. How do you tell someone that you love them while you're, you are with another man behind my back? Like straight up going off about her and it's very obviously about Addison Rae. He literally ruined their relationship by having so many cheating allegations. Shortly after this clip went viral, you guys, Bryce went under Brianna's comment section to attack her by saying that he never cheated and it's annoying how this accusation is still going around about him. I-D-E-K her, how would she know 100 hundred percent about my business. I'm not, I never cheated, and it's annoying that this is still going on. LOL. Anyways, y'all, you probably would expect at some point the situation will be over. Well, for some reason, the Bryce and Addison situation literally got connected to Josh, Mads, and Nessa's situation, you guys, since Mads decided to go on Twitter this week and reply to Addison's tweet by saying this, I'm single, same. While this was going down on social media, the one and only Lil Huddy, AKA Chase Hudson, thought it would be fun if he involved himself and replied to a TikTok video that said this. Isn't weird that Jaden tried to fight Lil Huddy for kissing Nessa and look at him now. Chase was right about them all along. This comment section has me dying. Just in case you guys are wondering why Chase was laughing at the comments under this TikTok video, well, just check out these comments. Chase right now. I've been telling y'all, Chase can ruin all of their careers. He was defending his future GF. Chase was being hella shady about how he warned people a long time ago about Jaden and Nessa's relationship in his infamous 
this list. But of course, the internet was quick to attack and destroy him for speaking the truth, you guys. Anyways, with that being said, many influencers have actually shared their thoughts on the entire Nessa and Jaden situation, including Nessa Barrett's dad, who went on Instagram Live to defend his daughter by saying this. Come on, like it's like they teenagers, man. Like what's they teenagers? Let them live. Just Despite how Nessa's father was standing up for his daughter, influencers such as Indiana and Blake Gray decided to share their honest opinions on this entire mess, you guys. And y'all, here's how they responded to it. By the way, I feel so bad for that kid because he not only lost his best effing friend, he lost the girl that he was absolutely in love with. And I feel bad for Mads as well, obviously. Like, she loved Jaden with all her heart and they just weren't working and that killed her. What do you think about Jaden and Nessa getting together? I think that breaks bro code? Uh, a little, yeah. A little? The fact that Blake didn't hold Holds back on saying how Jaden broke the bro code says a lot, you guys. Since Jaden took Blake's opinion as a joke and made a decision to confuse the entire internet this week by commenting under Josh Richards' recent Instagram post. As many people thought Bryce was trying to stay away from drama, clearly, you guys, Bryce had zero intention of remaining silent about the situation since he decided to post a very shady TikTok video with Josh Richards that says this when the duo becomes single right before summer. Speaking of Nessie, you guys, let's talk about how she failed miserably at shading her ex, Josh Richards. Yeah, guys, in her recent interview, Nessa explained how she hasn't been active on social media at all and how she deals with hate online in real life. Because I don't have social media on my phone, it's just like gone. I think it's not really a good head space for me to be in. Not an hour after Nessa revealed how she hasn't been on social media, people somehow caught her liking a very shady TikTok video towards Josh that says this. Nah, some don't seem right. Nessa and Jaden def got something on Josh. But after Nessa ended up threatening Josh by hinting she has something on him, a lot of people started wondering whether Josh has cheated on Nessa in the past or not. And y'all, just check out how people switched to Nessa's side all of a sudden. I have a feeling that Josh cheated on Nessa. Didn't Chase say he cheated on Nessa back in July? His whole mature act is just so he won't get exposed for how shitty he treated her. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Nessa Barrett threatening? Josh Richards for having something on him. Also, do you think Addison deserves all the hate for allegedly dating Jack Harlow? Make sure to leave all your thoughts and opinions on this entire drama down in the comments below. I love you so much!